Good morning, Quidditch fans. It's Wednesday, and I'm going to talk about the serious business that we're talking about, then another bit of serious business, and then some fun stuff, because there needs to be some form of levity. So, anyway, we're talking about abortion and stem cell research this week. To be perfectly honest, I'm not one for speaking about politics and policy on YouTube, much like Stevie in that way, because I think that YouTube, while being a place to educate, should also be a place of entertainment and of levity. So I kind of stay away from that. When I, when I talk about it, I generally talk about things like net neutrality, which is a big topic I, I, I talk about on the internet, because it's about the internet. But when I talk about topics like that, I generally try and provide some humor, but it's very difficult to provide humor in this type of discussion. So, really my standpoint is that since I don't have a uterus and I, at the moment, am physically not able to be pregnant, I shouldn't have an opinion, shouldn't be a stakeholder in what happens when a female chooses to have their baby or not. Um, I think the choice should be up to them. And I do want to note one other thing. 99.999 repeating percent of people are anti-abortion. That includes myself. No one wants to see fetuses die. Really the argument is, should the woman get to choose what she wants to do, or should that choice be thrust upon her? And I am much more in the former category, especially considering that as a male, I will never be in that situation. So I am not someone who should choose for a woman whether or not she should have their baby or not. On the subject of stem cell research, I am very much in favor of it for two reasons. First of all, I am always in favor of scientific endeavors if they can enhance and preserve human life. And stem cell research certainly allows for that. And that leads to my second point that the people that are here on this earth, their lives should be held to a greater importance than those who are unborn. Because, let's face it, embryos have not been developed in the fetuses, which have not been developed into full term or at least possibly sustainable for life outside the womb babies. On the, on the other hand, the people on this earth have been on this earth. The, the people that would need the type of treatment that can come from stem cells have lived lives and have impacted this planet in some way or another. So I feel that they have a larger burden and thus stem cell research should be fully legalized, which for the most part it is. Anyway. Second bit of ugh, about the death penalty, which I'm largely against, in fact, fully against, because I, for one, don't feel that the government should have the right to kill people, even if they think they're acting in the best interest of the people, and that especially was seen the last couple of days, both in Texas and in Georgia, as I record this video, Troy Davis in Georgia is set to be executed. This is his fourth time facing death row. Evidence in his murder case is has largely been recanted. It is a sad day for jurisprudence on that in that regard. And yeah, death penalty. I don't like it. I don't really know what to do with individuals who really can't be rehabilitated by the prison system and yet shouldn't be killed, but I'll think of something. Anyway, happy news. New Star Trek comics, monthly number one. I think that is awesome. I went to Forbidden Planet today and picked it up. I haven't read it yet, but when I do, I will review it on my blog. This is the secondary cover. I got, I found a B cover, so I got it because it's an actual cover rather than a photograph of the movie cast. It's obviously Kirk on this side, Spock on this side. And it features the characters of the original series 
as shown in the latest movie in their general mission to seek out new life, new civilizations, probably go where no one's come before, etc. So, yeah. Out of all the sadness and unsavoriness of this world, there is still something to be happy about, like Star Trek comics, and I guess that's what makes us human. Um, Robin, I will see you tomorrow.